Hey guys, what's up? It's Jerry, and uh, it's been a while, but today I'm making a video on the evolution of combat, and uh, this is going to be uh, Barrow's Guide, and this is going to be the best way to do Barrow's using the least amount of supplies and basically no prayer. Now I'm going to show you the inventory. So first off, you're going to want to have a good mage set up, you know, something along this line probably want something better than this. I'm just testing out this at the moment. And then obviously a better book if you're going to use a book and wand together. And then just some good mage armor. This is going to be pretty much anywhere if you can do barrows at all. This is going to be a great guide for you because you're going to be able to take basically no damage, eat very little food, and uh, use no prayer at all. And so yeah, you have your mage set up. Now if you have Void, that'll work the best, so you can use hybrid gear. And so then next up you're going to want a melee setup. Again, I haven't really perfected all my setups yet, and uh, yeah. And then you want to have your Ring of Wealth to equip when you, get to, uh, when you get to the chest. And then you can use a Magic Potion if you want, or just bring a few of those. And then a Prayer Potion, and then this is only in case you get Dorok in the, uh, in the tunnel. And so for this, you probably just need, if you think you're good enough to do barrows, you probably are. So if you think you're good enough to do barrows, you should go ahead and try it out. You should be able to do it. And so first off, for your, what's this called, ability bar, you want to have some good mage abilities. I've got all mine right here. This is just my main mage one. And then you want to have, in your second slot, some melee abilities. Now you're going to be maging every single brother except for Carol, the ranged brother, and on him you're going to be using melee. So I'm going to go ahead and pause until I get to the barrows, guys. So I'll see you then. Alright guys, I'm back, and we're here at the barrows now, and we're going to start with Dorok, but first I just want to remind you, you do need to bring runes. You can pretty much use any spell. I'm on Ancients, so I'm just using this because it's convenient. And so you want to, we're going to start here with Dorok. You can really do it in or, any order you choose, but this is the one I'm going to do it in. So what we're doing in this video is we're going to lure the Barrow bro all the melee Barrows brothers, so we uh, so that we won't be able to get hit by them at all. So what you're going to be able to do is you stand in this spot exactly. You have to stand in this spot or it will not work. And you click on this coffin, and then you walk into this spot right here. Just like this. And he will chase you and he will get stuck like that. And then you just take him out easily. You can take him out in whatever way you use. I'm not using the best weapons right now, so it might take a little bit. But I'm going to show you the lures for all the brothers and how to fight the ones that cannot be lured. Or however you want to say that. So yeah, you just take them out pretty quickly. It's not quite as fast as it used to be, but it's still not that bad. And you can still get a barrow's trip done pretty quickly. And as you can see, he died pretty quickly, and we lost no health. So now we're just going to go ahead and move on to Aram, because this is a convenient way to go. Now you can't lure Aram, obviously, because he uses ranged attacks. We have pretty good armor. Oh, we got him in the crypt. Or the tunnel. If you have good armor, he probably won't hit you at all. So now we're going to move on to Guthin. Now I've been testing out these methods a lot and they work very well. Very, however you want to see that. And so on this spot you want to stand basically the same spot, just right here in the bottom left corner. And you click this and then you walk to here this time. You walk over this rock and then he Oh, it may not work because we froze him. Hopefully it'll still work. Nope. So if it doesn't work, you just go straight out the steps. Or you can just choose to tank it. But in this guide, I want to show you that it does work. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and go out. Normally, I would probably just tank the damage. So again, you walk right here. Turn my auto retaliate, retaliate off. You walk right here. You click this. You walk here. As you can see, it did hurt me a little bit. But I'm going to show you guys how to heal that up in a second. So instead of using food, you can use the ability called 
Regenerate, which as you can see here, it focuses your remaining adrenaline to heal your wounds over 6 seconds. It does not work during combat, but what it does is it uses the rest of adrenaline that you have, and it uses that to heal you a certain percentage of your health. And it works very, very well, and it can pretty much replace food, and you don't need soul split or anything, you can just take them out very easily, and I'll show you how it works here. It also makes it to where you won't be able to use ultimate abilities as much. But in this case, it really, you kill them fast anyway. So I'll just show you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta wait till you're out of combat. And then you just click that, and it heals you up as you can see. So now I'm just about full health again. Now that I've equipped these, I am full health. So then you just want to switch over to your melee setup. And this one you're going to get hit quite a bit because he just completely owns you for no for some unknown reason. Carol is just extremely powerful. And I choose not to pray. That would help a lot if you did. He wouldn't hear you, hit you nearly as much. But yeah, you can just heal it up. After the other brothers, you should be able to heal back up to where you'll be full HP once you enter the tunnel. And if you're not, you can always kill some enemies inside there to get up your kill count. And then you can use the adrenaline left over from killing them to heal up. As you can see, he died pretty quickly as well. They all die pretty fast, not quite as fast as before. But it's not that much slower. Yeah, we quickly got to switch over to this and heal up. Do not attack while you're using this ability or stop working. Alright, so on this one it's a little bit different. This is Torag, by the way, and you want to stand in the middle right here, click here, and then click to here. Just like this. And as you can see, he's now trapped, and we can easily take him out without taking any damage. Now, I'm not a pro with the abilities. If you think I'm just a total fail at doing this, I'm working on it. <laughs> And I'm sorry I haven't had any videos out lately. I'm going to try to make some more. Just had some stuff to do. I haven't been playing RuneScape a whole lot either. But yeah, uh, we're not killing him too fast, are we? Go ahead and try to take him down. Almost got him. And there we go. As you see, we have full adrenaline, so we should be able to get to full health by using that. You just click this until you heal up, and boom, full health. Now, next up we have Varric. For Varric, you stand in this spot right here, and you walk to this spot right here. Just like this. Now, Varric really owns, so it really helps on him. Because he can hit you hard, even through mage armor and prayer and everything. You can lose a lot of HP on him. Now if you have Soul Split, you probably aren't going to need to do these things. Because you can just heal up easily anyway. But if you want to go cheap and you don't want to use any prayer, this is a great way to do it. You barely use any supplies. And you can last pretty much forever. If you know what you're doing, at least. Let's take him down real quick. As you can see, it's probably not quite as fast is with if I was doing this in ge the same gear before. Actually, I think I should. Oh, I should have used that ability. That'd be kind of a waste now, wouldn't it? Yeah, we kind of waste our adrenaline. Now, instead, in the past, when going into the crypt, I would have always put on my melee armor. But melee armor isn't the best against other melee um, monsters anymore. So now, instead of using melee armor, you want to use mage armor inside the crypt. Because it has the highest mage defense, melee defense bonus. So then, once you get in here, it's best to get one of the range brothers in here because you're usually going to be tanking them anyway. So if you get one of the melee brothers, you usually just tank them out. So there's no lure inside here that I found yet. Actually, my friend showed me these lures, and thanks a lot to him. Let's see if we can find the door real fast. Let's go this way. Uh, I hate it when I get a far door. It really sucks. Oh, I think it's here. 
And so last up we have Aram. Oh man. Let's just kill this guy real fast. Another thing is it's a lot cheaper to use runes now. Like, you really can do it without any runes at all. But you do need to make to bring runes or else the lure won't work. So make sure you bring runes. And then you just click open the chest and out comes Aram. Again, you can do these brothers in any way that you choose. You can do any one first that you wish. Any order that you want to do. I just find this way the best for me. I've gotten into the habit of doing it this way. Now, Aaron probably will take the highest, the longest to kill. Because he has decent mage defense. Just go ahead and use an ability on him. That was kind of a fail. Use that one, use that one. As I said, I'm not very good at the... So I hope this guide is going to help you guys a lot. I know the bears is a lot harder now to do. I remember getting on the beta and doing it in full virtues the first time I tried it. I just got completely owned. And I used a full inventory of food. And now I use basically nothing. And this is really helpful for me. And it's also probably even more fun than it was before. I love doing this boss. It's awesome. And you can do it with, uh, you can make a lot of money. Not quite as much anymore because the runes are going down a lot. But the items I think are going up because it's a lot harder to do a trip now. At least for most people. So you can make a lot of money doing this. And so now you see we've finished the finished the run and it's time to see hopefully we get some good loot. Uh not exactly good loot guys. But that's alright. We didn't really get much at all, did we? What did we get? That's kind of weird. I don't know what that means. Anyway, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope this guide really helps you. Now, keep in mind that I was talking in this video. And so, it was probably a lot slower for me doing it. If you concentrate a lot. If you concentrate a lot. You should be able to do a bear's run in about. If you have good gear, good stats, good spells, good abilities, you should be able to do a bear's run in like five minutes probably. And so I hope this guide helped you guys to do the bear's.